concept for Teacher Sim came from uh, an investigation into uh, simulator games. There's something really mass appeal about getting, putting yourself into the shoes of someone else in a, in a profession um, and working through something. It's sort of like a, a very tame power fantasy in Teacher Simulator, where it's this very accessible concept that everyone understands. We've all been through school, but it's a little bit empowering. You get, you get the opportunity to be the, the one in charge of this class, telling kids if they did good, if they did bad. So we wanted to do something that everyone understood. We wanted a simulator game where, where people, um, no matter where you came from, would understand the concept and would get to do something that you know, you, you've never really had the opportunity to do before. So we're, we're constantly looking at, um, at trends in the market. And one big thing that we saw sweeping was this, this simulator aspect, this seemingly menial jobs, but giving you the opportunity to work through them and turn what could be seen as plate spinning or something that was quite uh, laborious into something that was rhythmic and sort of relaxing and satisfying by being able to quickly get into these, these jobs, sink your teeth into it, get into a rhythm, and then feel good at the end of the day, like a, a real teacher would, feel good that you come out the other side of doing a good job. So I think there are lessons to be learned uh, from Teacher Sim. The biggest one being that you don't have to take a concept and go too crazy with it. At its core, Teacher Simulator is just about uh, the reaction of the students. It's marking these papers, but getting a really nice flow that gives you very visual feedback as to whether the student's happy with their grade, sad with their grade. Um, and that's that's the, the meat and potatoes. We have, there's things around it that sort of help break up uh, that, that mini game, but really, Focusing on that, making that tight, making it polished is what gives us um, our engagement and, and what makes players really respond to the game. I think Teacher Sim is successful for a few reasons. One of which is accessibility. It's, it's a concept everyone understands and it is this position of authority, being a teacher in a classroom that we've all experienced uh, as a student, but never necessarily as a, as a teacher. And there is something empowering about that, about being the, the person marking these papers and deciding on these kids' futures, essentially. So I think that there is just a, a general allure of stepping to the other side of that, of that desk, but also just the, the flow of the game, the, the detection we have on the ticks and crosses, the fact that you're interacting with the game in a, in a unique way. And people think hyper-casual, big ways about just being simple but more and more these days it is about innovating showing users something they've not seen before so being able to play this game not by pressing buttons not by swiping left and right but by getting in there ticking and crossing it, it creates this unique experience that has you coming out the other side feeling like you went on a really nice journey that that level you don't feel exhausted it doesn't feel too intimidating or intense it's just a, a fun way to interact it gives you some really satisfying feedback in the form of UI UX, but also just the students being sad, being happy with, with how you mark. I think really it's that innovation and, and that unique way of play that has made Teacher Sim so successful. <laughs>